So I've been fighting for about 10 years now and um, I've had a lot of awesome moments, you know, like stuff that sticks with you. And to win a legitimate title against a legitimate champion like Jack, I've never been hungrier, I've never worked harder, I, I can't wait. It's an exciting fight, like, like any fight in my career is, is something that means a lot to me. This one in particular, I feel like um, I've shown that I've risen to the top and, and, and maintaining the top position and, and I want that to open doors and, and that idea excites me. Jack's a fantastic fighter and he's deserving of where he's found himself, you know, he's, he's at the top of the heap in the country and he's earned it, you know, he's willing to fight everyone and he's got a good skill set and I respect that, but I'm not intimidated by it. He's going to come forward, he's going to pressure, he's going to look to take me down, grind me out, but if he wants to stand toe to toe, let's try it this time. Now, I fought Aiden before and um, no, I didn't hesitate, I'm, I'm excited. Didn't like the fact that someone that I fought wanted to fight me again, that's the only sort of thought on that. For the people in the know, Jack and I have a bit of history and uh, the way that it came about last time, it was on short notice, on, on his part too, so no excuses there, but uh, I was getting ready for probably the easiest fight in the lightweight division and instead got the hardest fight in the lightweight division. And it was a competitive fight, it was good, but uh, I wasn't getting ready for Jack specifically. Since that fight, about a year to the day, I've only been getting ready for Jack. You know, I've been looking for redemption, so I'm feeling really, really good about how this is going to go. The way I see this fight, not particularly any challenges um, as such, but I do understand he's got his strengths and, and he's a dangerous fighter like anyone. So um, as far as unique challenges, I think I've, I've faced people that have his skills. Look, I know it's a hard fight. I've, I've done it before, you know, we've, we've done 15 minutes together and I think we're probably going to do close to another 25. Uh, having said that, all it takes is one mistake from Jack, one mistake from anyone and I can take that away from him. You know, whether it be on the ground, on the feet, I'm going to be looking for the finish the whole way through. And I really feel like I'm going to find it and take that felt. I'm interested to see what game he brings in terms of the grappling because I think he's felt my grappling and I, I, I got the better of that grappling in that particular fight. So I'm interested to see how he approaches this. We didn't get a whole heap of striking time in that fight and I wanted to. So I suppose this is one that, that again, 25 minutes of fighting is, leaves plenty of time for excitement. So my fighting style, I've built a reputation on knocking people out quickly. You know, I'm an explosive striker, I've got a black belt in jiu-jitsu, I've been wrestling for half my life. You know, I, feel, I really truly feel like I'm the most dangerous lightweight in the country in the sense that I can finish someone everywhere. It doesn't matter if I'm on my back, you know, on the feet, I can take someone down and get on top of them. I'm da a danger everywhere and I'm always looking to kill. My prediction for this fight is I think I can get a finish within two rounds. I'm coming prepped for 25 but I think I can get it done in two. I'm excited, I'm pumped. Let's wake up HBF Stadium. We've done 15 minutes already. I think there's a chance we do another 25. If you don't come prepared, I'm taking everything from you.